Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to September. This is your three cards for the whole month, and uh, I hope you can look back and say that you've had a lovely summer. Um, you survived three eclipses and six retrograde planets, and now we have uh, Mercury direct and we have Mars direct, and I'm sensing a much busier, more productive fall ahead for us all. So, with that being said, let's go to our sage. And uh, there we go. So just imagine that the smoke of the sage is going all around you as it is around me. And now around the cards as well. And we're going to shuffle for you. Gemini, September 2018. Let's see what it brings for you. Uh, the sun is in Virgo, which is always your house number four, which means your family life, family and home. So maybe you're going to find there's more domestic issues coming up, but we'll take a look. So three cards. Here we go. First card is... Five of Swords. Second card is Queen of Pentacles. Third card is the Star. Wow, what an interesting month. Wow. See, the Five of Swords means some sort of argument or maybe quitting a job, quitting a project deciding, no, nope, I'm not going to deal with you anymore, <laughs> something like that, of that nature. Um, Queen, um, Five of Swords is usually not very pleasant to live through, you know, it's just conflict, messy conflict, and often, as I said, a decision to end something or walk away or take a break will, will come from that. Because you've got the Queen of Pentacles or Discs, I would imagine that this is happening perhaps with this kind of person. So she would be um, usually pretty grounded, solid, businessy. She's thinking of her own future well-being. She's thinking of her material well-being. She knows how to take care of her finances or she'll be, think she'll be wanting other people to take care of her. Uh, either way, um, she wants the good life. She wants a bit of luxury. She also can be very sensual, and uh, she can be very resourceful and charming and uh, elegant when she wants to be. She can also be super stubborn. So perhaps you are this person, or perhaps you are up against this person. Just because it's an earthy card doesn't mean it has to be literally an earth sign. It could represent how you are right now, because we know, Gemini, that you have multiple... Uh, facets to your personality and then um, the star card following it really just validates that if you need to have a walk away or an end or a fight that go for it it looks like it needs to happen because the star card brings back hope and brings back a sense of goals and aspirations and ideals and um, the air is cleared it, it's a beautiful card. There's a greater perspective. And so if you're up against this queen, let's say, and you need to take her on and set, say something to her, set some boundaries with her, uh, point out something where she could have her mind opened a little bit, go for it. The star card looks like you might succeed. They might actually open their mind a crack or they might take a look at what you're saying. Um, that's one possible outcome of it. Otherwise, if you're up against this person and you've walked away, well, star card would say, you're feeling great. <laughs> you know, the, you got everything off your chest. Things are clear. You feel like you can see things from afar again. And, you know, you feel more optimistic about life. So that, that situation was dragging you down too much. So you needed to do that. Um, now, if somebody, if you are set the queen in this, in this reading, and somebody is doing this towards you, then also recognize that let them do this and let things break apart for a bit if they need be. 
or take a hiatus because um, the liberation will come for both of you regardless of who said what. Um, this for me this feels like it could play out on any level I it could be it could be an employer or work situation it could be personal it, it doesn't really tell me either or and um, it just feels like a situation that's been brewing and you probably know who and what this is about and now it's come to its head so the star is where I'm focusing. Uh, it's the happy ending. It's the oh, back to me again, back to myself, back to what do I want to do next? You know? So whatever you have to do, or whatever ends, it's going to bring you the freshness back. So it's all for the good in the end. So if you would like to consult me for a, a longer personal reading on a situation, anything at all, you can reach me under this video or river-rain.com or Clairvoyant Medium Catherine Allen on Facebook. Have a wonderful month, Gemini.